Welcome back viewers, another visit from the Profile Police uh, helping you out in the terrible world of internet dating. Look it's not all terrible, I have been meeting some nice people, just as I said last week, patience and um, persistence. Mm. And uh, some, some good tips, now most of what we say is based on personal experience, so it's subjective, but it's from actual experience. And recently I read something online where someone was claiming uh, that you didn't have to have a photo on your profile. And I was kind of calling bullshit on that, but I was only going from my perspective. But we've got some statistics. Yeah, look, Freakonomics. It's the book thing again, people. Yeah, reading is good for you. We don't just read books uh, about sex and relationships, even books about Freakonomics has a special section on uh, online dating that has some real pearls of wisdom. Um, for instance, it talks about what men say about themselves. Hmm. Now this, this was on a survey of 20,000 active users, so this is statistically solid, okay? And you know, it's about half men, half women, range 21 to 35, so this is a very average group of people. There was a racial mix in there, although they were predominantly right. And the interesting thing is, apparently, this group of people are also richer, taller, skinnier, and better looking than average, because that's what they tell everyone. Mm. So, you know, more than 4% of them were saying they were earning more than $200,000 a year, whereas statistically... American, by the way. Yeah. yeah. Statistically, you would expect 1% of this group to earn that much. So either there's a bias to the rich, or some people are lying. Yes. Oh my God. Oh and this is what we were talking about last week with first impressions and, and building yourself up. If you lie, and then someone meets you, and that's not how you are, they're going to be disappointed and annoyed. Um, yeah. <sighs> It's just one of those things. It's like, yeah, people can forgive you for, for having other failings. They yeah. won't forgive you for deliberately lying to them. Now, the earning thing you could almost cover for, but here's the bit I don't get, that the people typically reported they're about an inch taller than the national average, <laughs> uh, and women uh, typically weighed 20 pounds less than the national average. Yeah. Which, hey, who knows, it's possible, but I think you're seeing a trend. And people know that you're shorter or fatter than when you show up. How do you think that's going to end? Really? <laughs> I've heard some horror stories on this one. Yeah, look, I've, I've had people turn up who said they were 45 and uh, <laughs> 65. Nice. Like, I'm not going to notice that. Yeah. It's just weird. Oh, like he said, most impressively, 72% of the women claimed above average looks and 24% said they had very good looks. And the online men were also gorgeous. 68% said above average, 19% very good looking. And only 30% were average, which kind of refutes the word average when it comes <laughs> down to it. Yeah. When you think about it. <laughs> okay, know. but um, with the photo thing, you know, we've talked about having the photo thing before, etc, etc. Um, now, apparently, a man who does not include a photo in his profile gets only 60% of the volume of email response of a man who does. A woman who doesn't include a photo only gets 24% as much emails responses as somebody who includes their photo. So there you go, bang, right there and then. You're just going to get more emails if you put your photo on. Now here's the quote that brings it home as far as I'm concerned. A low income, poorly educated, unhappily employed, not very attractive, slightly overweight and balding man who posts a photo has a better chance than a man who says he makes $200,000 and is really good looking because he doesn't have a photo people don't trust him. Yep. That's what it comes down to. There you go. Um, now, just again on that thing of it will take time, persistence and patience. Put your profile up on different sites. Try different profiles. If you're getting no response, put a new photo, put a new descriptor. You don't have to change the actual profile. You can uh, the name or, or create a new account. You can just do the same one. Just change the headline, change the, the subject. Just keep trying until you start getting responses. 56% of the men who post ads don't even receive one email and 21% of women don't get a single response. So understand that you're going to have to keep trying. You may never hear from anyone. If you just leave one profile up and just leave it at that and go, oh, it didn't work. Mm. I, I love the tips. The things that get responses are kind of obvious when you get told them. They're so wrong. Yeah. Men who say they want a long-term relationship get better responses than men who say they just want a casual encounter. But apparently, women, if you say you bang up for the casual sex, guys respond. 
Who knew? I'm not sure you necessarily want those responses. Yeah, so look, get out there, give it a go, mm. but try not to lie, because yeah. it'll only end in tears. Yeah, and it's, I mean... And as they honestly say, well, when you see what hurts someone, you can tell why someone's prone to lie about it. But seriously, you get found out in a lie. Well, and again, true story. Last time I was on internet dating, um, my profile said, uh, um, I, I said I was slightly overweight. I was less overweight than I am now, so shut up. <laughs> shut up. I know. I reckon, no, no, no. Stop the tap. No, no, no. Stop. Place the stop. big banner here. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> That was an accident, didn't you? <laughs> really? A, like big, a big banner covered up the fact that I was slumping and sticking my gut out? I, I didn't notice in the editing process that that worked. <laughs> notice, notice the tight framing now after yeah. that little effort? Yeah. Coincidence! All coincidence. Anyway, I was less overweight then. And I put a bit overweight but when I said I was only looking for women who were average or better. Someone said, isn't that hypocritical? And I went, I guess it looks that way, but... The women on these sites are delusional about what their weight is, and if I put, I'm happy with slightly overweight, I'll get morbidly obese. Yeah, this is the other problem. If people would listen to the, the constraints that you put, I mean, we talked about the age one. We've all, we've all put it down lower because people, 10 years out of it, think, oh, that's still okay. Look, and with all that stuff, just block people who ignore you. Block people who don't read your profile. Just ignore anyone who's being rude and impolite. It's all about respecting each other, and if we all try and respect each other, and all try and communicate honestly, you never know, we might all find someone. Yeah. So. And you've got so much choice. Like, we've had people asking, oh, I've had no luck on this site, or there's creeps on this site, what, what should I do? Go on a different site. There are so many of them. Yeah. Look, there's ones I haven't even tried yet. Yeah. <laughs> and look, we, we are both believers in you get what you pay for, and you're likely to get more... Um, useless people if you're on a free site but lots of people recommend the free sites as well I'd also caution I am uh, just stay away from the uh, introduction agencies these are the mm. things that actually predate the internet and they've been scams forever they're yeah. still scams yeah. someone who keeps milking you for money probably a scam someone that has a clear sort of membership structure and communication structure mm. probably okay but someone who keeps milking you for money scam particularly men men are particularly the victims of these things and it's not just sad you people are oh, just some sad bald overweight geek gets like no, no no i remember being in one office and we were kind of laughing at this guy because he was a dick but he was a manager and he was good looking and he was tall and he earned lots of money but he'd been totally hooked by this agency who was flattering him and telling him he was so special he he should pay the top tier membership and yeah. oh yeah they suck they can suck anyone in okay but just yeah don't go that way yeah um, so bugger off eHarmony that's going to ask you for money before you can see any profiles and go for a site that lets you see the profiles before you decide if you want to pay just get out there and try it all, okay? Yeah, and yeah, report back to us and... Uh, yeah, please, and please keep sending your profiles in for us to, to um, have a look at. We're more than happy to help you out on those. But uh, yeah, put a photo up and keep trying. And we'll see you again soon. All right, have fun. <laughs> yes, hang around there, Boo. That's a good girl, Boo. <laughs> She's drawing. <laughs> <laughs> that was really pretty, both.